Hi, everyone. I'm Masashi Wakami from Nissan Chemical Corporation at the Biological Research Lab in Japan. Today, I'd like to talk about uh, interesting applications with SM3 D cell culture mating. This slide shows today's agenda. Before introduction, uh, before main topic, a uh, uh, brief introduction of our company, then move on to material introduction and applications as shown here, IPSC expansion in static, agitation, drug screening, non-frozen storage, and safety data. Nissan Chemical is a chemical company, not automobile company. It may be confusing. Uh, anyway, uh, we started our businesses from 1887 as a chemical as the first chemical fertilizer manufacturer in Japan. Our annual sales is about $2 billion and the number of employees over 2,000. We have several branches in worldwide and our main businesses are manufacturing basic chemicals, research and development of the performance materials for the smartphone and computer chip and screen and agricultural chemicals, pharmaceuticals. And we are now trying to launch some new businesses in life science field based on our core technology, uh, such as chemical and polymer synthesis and biological evaluation. Today's topic is from the speedy division. Then move on to the main topic about SM3D culture medium and epipolymer. This slide shows background. 3D cell culture is a very important technology that provides a bridge between 2D culture in vitro and in vivo. Because in 2D culture, cells attach to the plastic surface and lack of cell-cell interaction compared with in vivo environment. But conventional 3D culture method using gel and the scaffold are not good handling and lack of scalability. Uh, when using low attachment plate, cells form aggregates. And also, uh, agitation damages cells from shear stress. To overcome these problems, we screened natural polysaccharide and acquired epipolymer and 3D culture medium. This video clip shows what SM is. Plastic pieces like cell spheres are suspended in normal medium or SM medium. In normal medium, bees precipitate to the bottom of tube by gravity, but in SM, bees keep floating without agitation despite low viscosity. This is SM medium. This table shows uh, features of SM medium and epipolymer. First point is easy to prepare because by just adding epipolymer to your own medium, you can make 3D culture medium. And uh, the, 3D the viscosity of the 3D culture medium is almost same as water, unlike other polymer, uh, such as gelatin or metal cellulose. So uh, handling is very good. Then, the main component of epipolymer is natural polysaccharide polymer, gelangum, which is widely used as a food additive. So epipolymer has no site toxicity. Finally, SM medium can keep cells floating without agitation. This slide shows the mechanism of the floatability, very brief. Why can medium with epipolymer float cells despite low viscosity like water? The answers are uh, shown here. Epipolymer forms network uh, like a cloud function as a scaffold via carboxyl group of gel and gum with divalent ion in the media. Cells on the network uh, so they float. But the networks are very soft and flexible. Uh, therefore, when I take the tube, the networks are collapsed 
and when I stop shaking, the networks recover quickly. That's the reason why cells move only during shaking and the, medium, the viscosity of medium is low. We can supply FCM medium in two ways. For 50 to 500 mil, mainly research user scale, we can supply as preparation kit. This kit includes epipolymer, adapter cap, and other expendables. And uh, this image shows prepar uh, instructions for preparation. After dispensing your 2D medium into tube and replacing a green cap with adapter cap, then injecting FP polymer, that's all. You can watch this preparation as a movie in our website from this QR code. In over 10 liter scale, we can supply as production to order because we have preparation technology for large scale manufacturing. And this table shows a preparation kit lineup. We have two types of polymer, FP001 and FP003. The application is same, but the cell recovery method is different. FP001 is a prototype and uh, FP003 is a upgrade type in cell recovery. So uh, when recovering cells by centrifuge, FP001 needs five-fold dilution with basal medium. On the other hand, FP003 needs adding 10% volume of harvesting buffer substitute for dilution. Or you can use sphere collecting module uh, we developed. I will mention this about later. Then move on to applications. Since we launched FSM products, some researchers used our products and published very unique papers. They focused on the large scale culture, 3D drug screen assay, cell preservation, cell features under 3D culture, and so on. Today, I'd like to talk about some uh, applications from this table and uh, our in-house data. First one is IPSC expansion in static. This data is quoted from this paper and uh, Professor Nakatsuji at, the, at Kyoto University uh, succeeded in large-scale expansion of undifferentiated ES iPSCs with SM. They used gas permeable cell culture back as shown here. And also uh, their protocol is shown here. They see its IPS as small clumps with mesh and change its media on day one and three and passaging on day five with mesh. The expansion rate with SM was almost the same as other culture methods. And the expression of undifferentiated markers uh, were uh, maintained at high level over several passages. This report is great. And uh, based on this report, to realize reproducible and easy culture, we made some modifications focused on the passaging, recovering, and the culture schedule. This slide shows uh, what we did. First, to realize cell-friendly passaging and easy to automate, we developed sphere splitting module. This module can be set to syringe tip, and by using this module, uh, large sphere, uh, we can split large spheres into small clumps without enzymic treatment. Second, to avoid centrifugation, we developed sphere collecting module. This is like a closed cell strainer. Uh, when cell suspension is transferred in this module and spheres are trapped and separated from all the medium. After that, uh, spheres are backwashed with flesh medium and we can collect cells. Finally, we applied Feldwatch culture. By optimizing seeding density and adding volume 
uh, uh, medium and that day, we can culture IPSC on this schedule. Seeding cells on day zero and adding medium on day one and four, passaging on day seven. Combined with these technologies, we developed semi-closed culture system. This is uh, example usage of the modules. And by using this system, uh, we do not need additional special equipment. We need only incubator. And we realize a, a daily culture and middle scale expansion in reproducible and easy way. Then we tested this culture system in two different culture scale. The culture schedule is shown here and uh, the cell growth for seven days is about 10 times, almost same in these two scales. And we could get 70 million cells in 0 0.2 liter and 350 million cells in one liter scale. Of course, we confirmed uh, the expression of undifferentiated markers maintained at high level over several passages. Uh, when using different cell line or culture media, the growth rate is different. For example, when using ReproCell's IPSC and our original culture media, we can get higher growth. Of course, the inner side of spheroids looks healthy. And uh, when using ReproCell's IPSC and stem feet media, we can get much higher than other cell line. Interestingly, the expression of undifferentiated markers in 771 was higher than other cell line. I think a reprocess IPSC is easy to culture because good growth, easy to maintain pluripotency, and easy to adapt various media conditions. Then move on to agitation culture. SM medium can be used not only in static culture, but also agitation culture. Uh, Dr. Horiguchi at Osaka University kindly provided this slide from his presentation at JSRM conference. They see the IPS as single cells in three different rotation conditions with a shaker and form aggregates for two days. After that, they transferred these aggregates to without or with SM condition and cultured for another two days. Without FP and slow condition, cells formed huge single aggregates and also made aggregates despite pre-aggregation condition. On the other hand, without FP and fast condition, Aggregates looks not healthy uh, because of their shear stress. But with FP condition, aggregates looks quite healthy and uniform regardless of the three different rotation conditions. In addition, uh, with FP condition, the growth rate was higher and stable than other conditions. And also the number of dead cells was lower and stable than other conditions. These results indicate that SM realized robust cell culture in shaking condition. How about scale up condition? I tried one liter scale perfusion culture with bioreactor and ATF. I see IPS as single cells without FP and cultured for one day and formed aggregate. After that, I changed media to with FP condition by centrifuge manually and cultured for another five days. The cell density increased over time, both without and with FP condition. And the expression of undifferentiated markers maintained at high level after culture. I need to note that the FP polymer did not affect ATF system. These results indicate that SM is applicable to bioreactor and pathogen culture with ATF. 
After large-scale expansion, the cell recovery method is also very important. We succeeded in uh, separating cells from epipolymer by using counterflow centrifugation system. After separation, cells precipitate to the bottom of tube by gravity, unlike before separation. And also we could concentrate cells. From these data, uh, we can collect and separate cells from epipolymer after large scale expansion. Then move on to drug screening application. This data is quoted from this paper and they focused on the effect of anti-cancer drugs on the difference between culture conditions in 2D and in 3D low attachment and 3D FSM. They treated paglitaxel, tromagenib, and MK2206 to A549 cells and measured survival. Cells were more sensitive to paglitaxel and MK2206 in a 3D FP condition than 3D low attachment condition. But there is no difference with tramagenib. This data showed that uh, the sensitivity to drugs is a little different from a 3D low attachment to 3D FSM condition. We focused on this unique difference and tried high throughput screening with this FSM platform. The plot score is very simple. Seizing cell with SM and treating 50,000 uh, compounds in our library and measured cell growth. Before screening, we validated CV and Z prime factor and the CV uh, was 7.7% uh, under 10% and Z prime factor was 0.71 over 0.5. There was no problem about these factors. And this is our result. Each axis shows the cell growth in normal 2D or FSM 3D. For example, red circle shows the drugs triggered 3D specific cell growth. And blue circle shows the drugs triggered 3D specific growth inhibition. From this data, we acquired very unique and original compound. And uh, what I'd like to say is that SM can be applied to HTS, that is very unique assay. Then move on to non-frozen storage uh, application. I think this application is very, also very unique and useful. Uh, Professor Ishii at Chiba University kindly provided this slide from her presentation at FSM meeting. They focused on the SMC's behavior in suspension condition. In general, SMC's need a scaffold to survive and grow, but in, with FP condition, the viability kept high for five days. This uh, cell cycle analysis showed uh, what happened in cells. With FP condition, the S phase population decreased and G2M population increased compared with 2D culture. This data indicates that cell cycle is arrested. And also from this electron microscopy data showed that epipolymer partially interacted with cells. These data suggest that epipolymer not only keeps cell suspension uniformly, uh, but also made some interaction with cells as a minimal scaffold to provide the adhesion signal to survive. We applied this method to MSC as single cells and spheroid. This image shows uh, the overall of this experiment. MSCs are suspended with SM and they leave the tube at room temperature. No medium change, very simple test. Surprisingly, 
the viability kept high over 90% for two weeks with FSM condition. And the expression of each markers did not change after culture. In general, spheroids are not quite preserved because of the low viability after thawing. Therefore, we think that uh, this application can be a novel cell transportation system, mainly for spheroids, organoids, and cells sensitive to uh, cryopreservation. Finally, about safety data. We took several safety data related FP001. We assumed residual polymer amount in cell suspension after several wash, then conduct safety test based on the calculation. In acute toxicity, the conclusion of full toxicity was negative, but, we, but uh, in very high dose condition, we observed pulmonary embolism caused by very physical polymer clogging. And other tests such as antigenicity, AIMS, chromosomal abnormality, micronucleus test, comet assay was, were all negative. From these data, we think uh, epipolymer has no cytotoxicity in vitro and in vivo. This is our last slide and shows some take home messages. SM is low viscosity 3D medium for suspension culture without agitation. SM can be applied to a wide range of applications, such as IPSC expansion in static, agitation, drug screening, non frozen storage. And epipolymer is not a site toxicity material in vitro and in vivo. Thank you for your attention.